Alright guys, welcome back to GTA 5, and so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to install add-on cars, and pretty much what you're going to want to do is find yourself a car, so if you don't quite know which car to buy yet, just go to GTA 5 Mods, and click on Vehicle Mods, that will bring you straight to the Vehicles tab, and you can choose any car out of these that you want, and the ones that say add-on are the ones I'm going to show you how to install today. Now, I don't need to do this because I've already found this nice Mercedes-Benz S63, long wheel base and I really like it so we're just gonna go ahead and download that so just hit download and it will if it's a very high texture one like this then it'll take a little while to download so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut till the time that it's all ready to go alright guys it's all done it only took me about a minute to do now remember the download times will depend on which car you're using as well as your internet speed so now that we've got that all downloaded and out of the way let's just go ahead and open that up really quickly in WinRAR as you can see so you're going to need WinRAR for this and I forgot to mention that you're also going to need OpenIV for this so if you don't have that then just go ahead and download it and install it it's pretty simple and all you have to do is just click through a little installer so as you can see here we have two options replace and add-on as well as readme now we're going to go with the readme first because this is very important and we're pretty much just going to skip down to installation. So first of all, drop the S63W222 folder to Grand Theft Auto 5 slash update slash x64 slash DLC packs. So you're going to want to find your GTA 5 directory, which is for mine, it's a Steam installation. So you just go Windows C, Program Files, x86, and then scroll all the way down to Steam, then Steam Apps, Common, and GTA 5. So make sure that you back up your GTA 5, because if you do not do that, then you, and you try and go online with mods, you will get banned. So don't do that. So I've got my an older version here that I've just yet to uninstall and delete. And this one is GTA 5 Vanilla, aka no mods whatsoever. So just make sure that you have a backup. That is very, very important. Do not mod without a backup. So now that we've gone through all of that little uh, disclaimer there, we're going to drop the folder to uh, update x64 DLC packs. So update x64 DLC packs. Just like that. So we'll go ahead and make that half and half and go into add on and right here. That's the file that we need to drop in. So we just drag it and drop it right into there. All right. And I already have a custom vehicle installed, so that would not be there. So there you go. That's as simple as that. That's the first step done. So we're just going to go ahead and undo that whole side by side thing again. Go back to the main directory and check that out. So that's number one complete. Now we extract DLC list XML from update update RPF common slash data. So now we're going to need to open up OpenIV. So just go ahead and grab OpenIV if I can type it in correctly. And click Windows. Just give it a second to start up. Could take a little bit once again, depending on a few different variables like computer speed. So, all right, here we go. I didn't even have to cut there. I was trying to stall it so we didn't have to cut. So DLC list dot XML from update update RPF common data. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight that so I can see it a little bit more easily and update update RPF common data just like that. And there you go. DLC list right there. So you're just going to want to go ahead and right click extract and extract it to wherever you want. I'm just going to extract it to my desktop because I think that will be easiest. So I'll go ahead and select folder and it has extracted and you could just grab it from your desktop itself, but I just prefer to do it this way. So what is it called again? Uh, uh, DLC list, correct? DLC list.xml. Yeah, okay. So just go ahead and find DLC list. It should be an XML document. Right click it, open with notepad, and boom, there you go. A bunch of stuff. Now it looks kind of intimidating, but trust me, it's pretty simple here. So use notepad to open it and add the new line item DLC packs S63 W222 slash item. So just select all that, including all the spaces. That's very important. Just select it all and hit control C to copy it and go back over to your DLC list. Go to the end right there. Hit enter off of that to make sure that paths is on the bottom and item is on top and just control V. So because we kept all these spaces, it's all perfectly aligned and that is what you like to see. So just save it, put control S, or just close it and hit the save option if you want. So that is step three done. Save it and replace it in open four. So we're going to go back to open IV here and click on edit mode. Be sure and select yes and go hit replace, replace right there. And just select DLC list 
and open. There you go. So just right click it, replace, select your DLC list, and boom, there you go. Just to confirm, we can open it up and S63W222, just what we are looking for. All right, so that is that. Now we're going to extract extra title update data dot meta from update, update RPF, common data. So as you can see, update, update RPF, common data. So we're already there. And just two down is your extra tile update data dot meta. And once again, we're just going to do a very similar thing. Right click, extract it to your desktop folder. And we'll go ahead and go to the desktop. Just going to refresh it just for good measure. And extra title update data. Once again, very similar. Right click, open IV, or open with notepad, sorry. And there we go. Once again, more stuff. Very similar with the item slash item stuff. But once again, nothing to be afraid of there. So we're going to use notepad to open it as we did and add this. Once again, doing almost the exact same thing. Select it. Don't forget to select the, uh, the little spaces here. Hit Control-C to copy or right-click and copy. I just like Control-C. And then go all the way down and hit Enter off the end of that. And Control-V. Boom. So there we go. S63W222. Save it once again and just close that to keep our clutter to the minimum, except for all this stuff is already here, so it <laughs> doesn't really matter. Go back to Open IV and right-click replace and go back down extra title update data open it and boom there you go replaced as you can see we have s63w222 already installed and that is that's pretty much that save it and replace it and now we can use the menu or simple trainer to spawn it with the name s63w222 now that is something that you're gonna have to remember because if you want to install this and like okay well we've already installed it but if you want to open it rather then you're going to need to remember that name. So all that we have to do now is install Simple Native Trainer and open that up. So I already have Simple Native Trainer installed. It's pretty pretty simple to do. All you do is just install a couple files into your GTA directory, like you install script hook, and then you just drag in trainer v.asi and trainer v. So without further ado, I'm just going to close down all these windows because we don't need them anymore. All that is already done. Desktop, we can close that, and all that we have to do now is just launch GTA and start it up. Alright guys, now that we are in GTA, all that we have to do is open up our trainer by pressing F3, and go to Vehicle Spawning, and Spawn Vehicle by Model Name, and just type in the model name, which in this case is S63W222, and hitting Enter. And just give it a second here, and boom, there we go, Mercedes-Benz S63 AMG W222. So basically guys, that's all there is to it. That's how you install an add-on car, as well as how you spawn an add-on car using the Simple Native Trainer. So if you're new to my channel, then please consider subscribing and checking it out, because I post some regular GTA content, as well as a few other games. Just, you know, whatever I feel like playing that day. So yeah, if you enjoyed, oops, <laughs> smack the like button. And until next time, I'm out, and he's dead. Peace.